What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew, and you are watching DaVinci Reacts. Now, today we're going to be checking out a video that came out by a channel called Life Biggest Questions. Um, I will have a link for the channel at the end of this video. You can click on it right around here. The last 30 seconds of this video, it'll pop up and it'll take you to their channel where you can watch their videos, like, subscribe, all the other good stuff. And they have a lot of videos where it pretty much is ask, uh, ask a question that and then they talk about the possibilities of like what the answer would be it's it's very interesting because the questions they ask are really really big stuff like things like what would happen if cthulhu existed or what would happen if godzilla were real or what would happen if the world was wiped out by the current virus that's going around right now like they ask a lot of different questions that if you are interested in learning about that type of stuff provides an interesting like what if scenarios so if I, i'm subscribed to them if you want to check out more of their content i strongly suggest you go and check out that channel and if you just want to check out this video or if you want to show the original content creator support something i always recommend the link in the description box down below it will take you to the original video and what I suggest is you give them a view so you can help so they can help build ad revenue off of it, make money and be able to continue to make the content that we all enjoy. If you don't feel like watching it twice, put open the video in a new window, put it on mute and let it play in the background while you're watching this. And by the time this is done, you'll have given both of us a view and it helps both of our channels. Now, with that being said, this video is called Top 10 Scariest or Top 10 Insects Scarier Than Murder Hornets. Now, for those of you that don't know, murder hornets are, I believe they're just Japanese hornets. They came over to America at some point. I don't know when. I don't know who the hell decided to bring them here. We don't want them. Why? But at the end of the day, it's like they're here. We got to deal with it. Um, so the question is, what is scarier than one of those? And I have a couple of ideas. My, I'm pretty sure that the, the tarantula hawk is going to be on here at least at some point. I don't know if it's going to be number one or what, but I guarantee you it's going to be on this list. There are some insects that does some crazy ass things that if these insects were to grow a thousand times their size and become the size of like humans or at least the size of a dog, the world would be a crazy sci-fi influenced nightmare. Like it would be crazy. <laughs> Let's check this out, see what it has to offer. Um, this is a part, a two-part video. I'm going to be doing a reaction to part one. If you want to check out part two, uh, go to their channel. I might leave a link for part two, the original video, in the description box so you can go and check that out. But yeah, this would be something to get your to get your feet wet so you can go over and you know it. It hopefully can influence you go check out the the rest of the videos. We're all on high alert right now. Some gigantic, terrifying honeybee slaughtering hornets have been sighted in North America, and people are not happy about it. They have. I was about to say, why does it look like this wasp is performing harakiri? Like, I know they're Japanese wasps, but damn. <laughs> but no, I think that was just somebody like holding it up for a display. <laughs> like, it's a dead uh, wasp. They were just holding up for display purposes. But I was about to say, like, they get serious with their Japanese. Bee slaughtering hornets have been sighted in North America, and people are not happy about it. They have stingers ready to send you to the shadow realm and the ability to yeah. decapitate entire hives of their prey, and they're yeah. prepping for the summer as we speak. We don't know for sure how many there are in the West as they do hail from Asia, but we do know that there are all sorts of researchers and scientists on the case. They're trying to make sure the murder hornets don't establish themselves where they don't belong. However, while we wait to see how it all plays out, let's be thankful that we're not seeing any creepy- I know them tongs. Kylie Peterson, are you out, are you out there fucking around again? Is that, is that what's happening? You out there fucking around? I thought we were done with this. I thought the warrior wasp was the last. I'm gonna have to check out uh, uh, Brave Old Indus' channel and make sure he's not doing any crazy shit again. Crawley's crazier than the giant hornets. Hello fellow friends and philosophers and welcome back to the most mind-bending channel on YouTube, Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your voice in the void, Keegan Hughes, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 insects scarier than murder hornets. Grab your raid and the murder roll hornets up the newspaper like because things team. are about to get rough. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and St. subscribe Louis murder to hornets. Skittering Slaughterers. Perfect, let's begin. 
Starting us off at number 10, we have the Australian Funnel Web Spider. We all know that Australia is home to some of the nastiest, scariest, deadliest creatures on planet Earth. Also one of the oldest spiders. I believe the, the funnel web spider goes back almost to the damn dinosaurs. Like these things, they're not really, they haven't evolved that much, but that's because what they do works so well for them. So yeah, very old school spiders. <laughs> so anything hailing from the land down under is probably going to be bad news. This is yeah. definitely the case with the Australian funnel web spider. This hairy, scary, eight-legged creature is technically not an insect, but it's an arachnid. I'm gonna include it anyway. These eight-legged freaks can deliver a potent toxin that kills people in about 15 minutes. They're large and aggressive, and their big fangs can actually pierce through fingernails. My goodness. If these features weren't freaky enough, you should also know that they often wander into human-populated zones looking for mates. Although, thankfully, they're searching for spider mates, not human ones. Coming in at number nine, we have, we have the assassin bug. One look at that name and you know you're in for some carnage. These ruthless killers are known for attacking their prey quickly and violently. They stab them with sharp beaks and inject enzymes that break down their insides. Once the innards are nice and goopy, the assassin bug will slurp them have, out like a disgusting living milkshake. Does it have web? Some versions of the assassin bug even take the hollowed out shells of their prey and stick them on their back. Corpse armor for the assassin bug. Sounds like something out of a fantasy novel. And humans yeah. beware. The assassin bug might not be explicitly deadly to humans, but its bite can spread disease. Coming in at number eight, we have the Amazonian giant centipede. With all the household pests we complain about, we often forget how lucky yeah, we really is, are. That's nuts. Imagine instead of the standard common millipedes we find so often, we found these instead. 35 centimeter multi-segmented thick-legged centipedes. Oh no. The Amazonian giant centipede has 21 to 23 segments, all sprouting legs. And it's aggressive. It will latch onto enemies with all of its might and legs and inject venom into whatever was unfortunate yeah. to cross its path. This is- Now, if anybody out there actually has seen um, Coyote Peterson, you know how bad giant centipedes are. This dude, he's taking stings from uh, fire ants. He's taking stings from bullet ants. He's taking stings from warrior wasp he's taking stings from tarantula hawks and it wasn't like he took it and i mean the dude was like writhing in pain on the ground don't get me wrong he was he was he was fucked up but this it only the giant centipede was enough to cause the dude to like cut the video i was like i'm done i, I stop the stop rolling we're finished we're and, and the thing is like the the giant centipede was like the underdog was like a there's like a, a a black sheep that he just came out of nowhere like nobody suspected that this thing would have this type of bite and for somebody that took the sting of a bullet ant like he came out of nowhere and and bit Cody peterson and the dude was just done how, how does that happen <laughs> oh man fatal to smaller animals and although not lethal for humans still causes severe pain swelling chills and general weakness Skittering in at number seven, we have the bullet ant. Quick like a bullet and painful like one too, this ant is not one you want anywhere near you or your loved ones. They can grow to be up to an inch long and have sticky adhesive feet, meaning they can stick to anything they're walking on. They live in trees and if you get too close, they'll make you regret it. Bullet ants have this habit of shrieking before jumping off their tree onto a target and biting them. And their bites are said to be as painful as getting shot by a nail gun. The agony is instant and terrible and can last up to 12 hours. I might opt for the real bullet instead. <laughs> Coming in at number six, we have the Setsi fly. Like mosquitoes, Setsi but fly. way, way worse. They suck human blood, much like they need the most patriots, but have a much more uncomfortable method of doing so. Setsi flies have serrated mouths so that they can literally saw into your skin. Once it's ripped open, it then proceeds to slurp up your blood. And if that wasn't bad enough, they're also known to spread disease. The one they're most famous for is called sleeping sickness. If you go without treatment, you'll probably die. Sleeping sickness causes fever, headaches, and aching muscles. And of course, it makes you really tired. It also causes personality changes, confusion, and poor coordination, which actually sounds like my life. Personality changes how exactly? Should I be worried? Crawling in at number five, we have the tarantula hawk. Told you. These terrifying creatures literally hunt tarantulas. Sure, if they're a bunch of giant spiders, now listen to this. that might be seen as a listen good thing. Listen to what thing, they do. But if not, they're just terrifying <laughs> bird-fighting wasps with gigantic stingers. They grow up to two inches long and have hooked legs meant to help them grab onto their prey. 
These do a great job of digging into skin too, and that stinger is no joke. It's full of a powerful venom meant to ward off much larger predators. If under attack, the tarantula hawk will stab its enemy, causing intense, debilitating pain until it's released. Coming in at number four, we have the Goliath. So are you gonna talk about the tarantula hawk and not explain how they function exactly? Okay, well, time for Uncle Da Vinci to, to, to enlighten anybody that doesn't know. I'm sure a lot of people out there do know. You can verify in the comment section just how nightmarish this, this shit is. So what they do is they hunt for tarantulas. And when they find a tarantula, they will fight it, sting it, if they're lucky. The tarantula will be paralyzed, not die, but will be completely paralyzed. The tarantula hawk will take the spider's body, pull it into some type of burrow of some kind, and then lay an egg right on the stomach of the tarantula. Now, the tarantula's alive the entire time. The tarantula's, there's nothing dead about it. It's alive, it just can't move. Now, while that happens, the tarantula hawk will fly off somewhere else and, you know, go mess with its baby mom or whatever the hell it does. I don't know what it does when it, after that, but that's irrelevant. That doesn't have anything else to do with the story. It's gone. So the egg will sit on the spider's abdomen, or they don't have abdomens, do they? A spider with abs. That's crazy. It puts it on the spider's stomach area, <laughs> and it'll incubate until it eventually hacked, uh, hatches. And then once the tarantula hawk larva hatches, it digs into the spider and goes into its body. Now the entire time, wait a minute, or, or it's possible the tarantula hawk puts the egg inside the body from the beginning. Either way, the baby gets inside the body somehow. <laughs> and the entire time, the tarantula is still alive. So imagine something, you've just been impregnated and the thing inside of you is now growing up and eating your insides while it's growing inside of you and then it eventually will burst out of out of the, the middle of it like a damn uh alien baby and go out and do its own nightmare stuff where it tries to find a, a a tarantula and do the same process over again so these are like walking aliens or walking face huggers that will just go around impregnating things putting their babies inside just so the damn babies will be able to burst out of the damn thing and go on and do the thing again. It's, it's nuts. Bird eater. If these were crawling around outside my house, I might reconsider letting the tarantula hawk stick around. This is a tarantula big enough to eat entire birds. Entire birds. Nightmares. Every night for the rest of time. <laughs> they have leg spans of up to 11 inches, so basically they can be up to a foot across. And guess what? They live for up to 25 years. What kind of spider has that kind of longevity? It should be illegal. <laughs> and although they prefer birds, if you're not careful, they'll bite you too. They've been known to bite people who get too close, so don't try them. Come yeah, um, bird eating spiders, they're not as intimidating as they come off as because they, they don't really have any poison to begin with. I mean, if they do, it's very like mild to humans. And their first, uh, their first method of defense is kicking hairs at the whatever might be coming after them. So if a, if you're getting near a tarantula or a bird eating tarantula, what they'll do is they'll like rub their whatever the bulbous butt part of it is. I I don't really know the scientific term. I mean I kind of do, but I don't want to say it because I might be wrong. <laughs> so I'm not gonna even try. But uh. They'll like kick up hairs off of its butt and the hairs will go flying everywhere. And from what I hear, they're extremely irritating. If they get into your eyes and your nose, it'll, it's not pleasant. Like you, it will be irritating you for hours. But, um, yeah, that's its first method. Now, if you get really, really close, then it might bite you, but that's only if you let it get so, get so close. If like if I was them and I was going to put a, a spider on here, what I would put on would be the Brazilian wandering spider. That's a lot more dangerous than the a birding tarantula. Coming in at number three, we have the scorpion fly. Just, just look at it. It's like a flying scorpion <laughs> wasp no hybrid with a bird beak. This is new. And it's legs. They're like something off Skull Island. I honestly have a hard time believing that these actually exist. 
Thankfully, that just long curved tail that looks like a stinger, it's actually just for mating, so that's a bonus. Now, the real freaky thing about scorpion flies is their love of human corpses. Oh. Yep. If you're a living human, they've got no real interest in you. But if you're dead, they'll infest your flesh and mate in and around your body. Filthy. They are actually so stoked by dead people that people are actually using them to help solve murders. A study found that they are usually the first insect to reach a human corpse, provided they're in the area, and they stick around longer once they make it there. So if you ever see a scorpion fly, just know that they're watching you, imagining what they'll do to your carcass. <laughs> Yuck. Coming in at number two, we've got the human bot fly. Human bot fly. Bot flies are actually the worst. Like I the couldn't imagine something a, that would make my skin crawl more. The closest thing to a tarantula hawk for humans. Literally. Hold on. So these little bee looking creatures like to lay their eggs on warm blooded mammals, cats, dogs, rabbits, sheep, buffalo, people, you name it. It doesn't take much for them to lay their eggs either. A brief encounter is enough for them to drop anchor. Once the eggs hatch and the larvae emerge, they will burrow into the skin and live anywhere. Some popular spots include the tear ducts, eyelids, and in some tear cases ducts. they make it to the brain. Imagine Ooh. that, knowing that some bugs are literally living in and eating your brain. Okay, that's new to me because I've always like, normally when you see bot flies, like bot fly removals and stuff like that, it's always like under the surface level of the skin. I've never seen anything as far as like eye ducts or eyelids or in the brain because sometimes these like larvae can get big like chunky big there there's some chunky boys and imagining something like this long this wide around not to mention they have like little barbs going down their body so like you can't really like pull them out without causing like damage to think that gets inside your eyelid oof, like your eyelid would be swollen up like a boxer No thank you. As they eat and excrete, they cause pustules to develop, and these are very painful and secrete toxic fluids into your body. Ideally, you'd want to get them removed yeah. ASAP, See, but sometimes you don't this know- This is a bot fly larva. This is what burrows into your skin and will get stuck in there and normally has to be surgically removed. Not surgically removed, but you have to go to a professional to get it removed usually. So imagine this getting into your eyelid or in your tear duct. Like, I, I've never seen it and never heard about it. I'm not going to say that they're lying or anything like that, but normally it's always like underneath the surface of the skin. ...that they're there until they're well developed. Apparently the procedure to get them removed is pretty simple, but if they've burrowed deep, they can cause more problems. Some people even feel the larva moving around inside their bodies. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to take a wire brush to my brain before <laughs> continuing on. And finally, at number one, army ants. army ants. Okay, so most of the insects and arachnids we've mentioned today are gross and freaky looking and have painful, if not deadly, bites and stings. However, none of them will eat you entirely alive. None of them except for army ants. Also known as killer ants, these blind bugs travel in groups of millions looking for prey that they can tear apart. They stick together until finding something to eat and then it's all over. With jaws that shear away at flesh and the ability to work together as a team, they can take down pretty much anything. Army ants have even been known to take down elephants and, you guessed it, humans. A colony can eat hundreds of thousands of prey animals every day. They basically form giant moving blankets of ants and overwhelm their prey. Fastening onto each other, they climb on and overtake everything and anything they want to eat. They're so efficient at this, they actually have a huge impact on the population, diversity, and behavior of their prey. If these were invading North America instead of murder hornets, I think the panic would be greater by orders of magnitude. Thankfully, they're blind, so there are ways to avoid them. They're not going to go too far out of their way to catch you. But still, the idea of being totally covered and then consumed by flesh-eating ants yeah. is one I may never recover from. Are you feeling a little better about murder hornets now? Glad that we're getting some painful stingers and not disease spreaders or egg layers? It's not ideal, but hey, as we now know, it could be worse. What did you think of the list? Would you trade murder wasps for any of these critters? What insect scares you the most? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of your more rotten ones from what if murder hornets doubled in size. Raymond Raptor Claw says, if they doubled in size, we could yeet them with a baseball bat. Oh, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. Mm. The newest extreme sport, 
Hornet Home Run Derby. Facade Games says top 10 strongest people. John Cena, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, that Coyote says Peterson's Wayne forearm. The Rock Johnson. When that man dies at the ripe age of 102, they're gonna put his arm in a museum and it won't need to be preserved. Abraham Lincoln says to avoid it attacking you, just asked, do you like jazz? Abraham, I figured you'd leave with something more like four score and seven years ago. R-E-S-S says where did dads go when they say they're gonna get milk at the store? Well, first they buy some cigarettes, and then they run into a swarm of hornets. Or at least that's what I tell myself. And Comrade Galani says, Murder Hornet sounds Dark like something story. out of a bad monster movie on Spike TV. I agree, except for one thing. There are no bad monster movies on Spike TV. And that's all the time we have for today. Before I drift away, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more awful bugs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Um... Yeah, obviously there's a ton of different insects out there in the world, and uh, you got to know what you're dealing with. They're, they're some bad boys. <laughs> um, murder hornets, I don't know a lot about them. I mean, I've always been under the understanding that they're more, they're more like, they, they more, they're more to themselves than other types of bees and hornets are. Like, you don't really see a swarm of them. You will see... A handful of now i could be completely wrong please if i am wrong go in the comment section let me know but i always was under the impression that they would really like maybe like three or four of them would go and attack a, a bee's nest by themselves and they would just do that like they would go in small special ops groups <laughs> and just take out nations but um yeah the murder hornet thing it i feel like it's i feel like it's going to get I don't want to say that. I mean, I don't want to be the person to say something and then in the future it completely flips and I'm just stuck on the internet with this dumbass prediction. But I will say this. I think that this is something that is slightly blown out of proportion. Same way Killer Bees was back in the uh, 80s and 90s. Like, it's, it's going to be the flavor of the month news story for well, a month. And then after that, people are going to forget about it. At least until the next thing 2020 wants to throw at us in the month of uh, June. <laughs> like, whatever the hell that's going to be. Because at this point, it's like every month something significant and crazy happens. So, yeah. You know, we've had World War Three, We've had bushfires. We've had world pandemic viruses. We've had uh, UFOs being confirmed. We've had... The death of Kobe Bryant, like a lot of different stuff in 2020 has happened. And it's like, okay, I am done with this damn year. Can we move on? <laughs> and Murder Hornets is just the latest one of those. So whatever June has to offer, I'm not ready, but whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. So you just got to brace for it. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comment section. Let me know what type of insects you think are scarier than Murder Hornets. Um, if you can think of something that wasn't on this list, that would be even better. But if you can think of something on this list that wasn't elaborated on, That'd be interesting, too. Like, I would love to learn more about some of these insects that weren't talked about. And I do go through all of my comments, so I will be checking it out and I will be reading. Sometimes I don't always respond, but that's because I'm too busy reading comments and actually learning. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. I'm going to give you the deuces and I will see you next time. Deuces.